Hello ladies and gentlemen, Fireman Dan here, and welcome back to Space Engineers Tutorials. So today I'm going to talk about a couple of advanced features for Whiplash's AI turret slaving script. If you are not familiar with the script, I did a video on it and how to set it up. I will put a link to it at the top of the video. So this one I'm going to show you some uh, different ideas you can use with the script. And the first one I like because this allows you for uh, like multi-crew stuff, right? So if you got say, let's say you build a helicopter, right, and you want to do something like a gunship. Actually, I'll show you here. Uh, I'm not fully ready to show this off yet because it is not completed, but something like this. Now this is a one-seater, and I got a little nose turret on here. If I wanted to throw two seats on this, and say a pilot and a gunner, the gunner cannot control this the nose turret because you can't have two people inputting controls onto the same grid and multiplier. But by doing something like this with the nose turret, which is what I'm going to show you. You, one person can be flying and one person can be controlling a gun and this works because you can still take control of a turret or well a vanilla turret or in this case a uh, modded turret so put the script on your grid and it's down here at the toolbar down here you just take control of your designator turret that is linked to your uh, slave turret and that's all you gotta do so whoever is your gunner can just sit here like this and control your nose turret or if you're in a larger ship uh, say a top turret a bottom turret or whatever, whatever kind of design you come up with now for this one I got spotlights lights on here because I don't want shooting going on when I'm doing the recording just personal preference but technically speaking I would have a Gatling gun on there so basically saying whoever is your gunner while you are flying can take control of this designator or even a vanilla Gatling turret that you're using as a designator and because this is linked to your rotor turret they can actually control your rotor turret and they can essentially be a gunner for you now let's hop over to here the next thing this script does is it can automatically turn on and turn off interior lights so I'm going to throw an interior light here, and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add this interior light to the turret group. Save, program block, I'm going to run setup, and then I'm going to come back into the interior light. Custom data, and you see all this right here. Now this here, the first half, is whenever the gun is targeting something. The second half is whenever it is not targeting something so I want this light to flash red whenever my turrets lock on to something so first off is right here you got color RGB and the numbers if you do not know where to find these numbers it's right here All right you got your blue you got your green and you got your red now like I said I want it to flash red Right, so that's two, R25500. Zero, zero. Custom data. Red 255. Oops. And wrong button. I took a screenshot. Zero. Zero. Now, right here is turn on. That's true. Then you got your blink interval in seconds and your blink interval in percentage. These are these right here. So essentially, you are manipulating the sliders through custom data. So I want it to flash quickly. So I'll say blink interval 0.5 seconds and blink length uh, 50%. And then down here is when it's idle. You can either have it false or true. False means the slide will, if it's not targeting something, the slide will be off. But instead, let's have it a steady green. So zero, zero, so that's green, right? Green's in the middle. 
blink interval zero seconds because I don't want it to flash and this don't matter because this is set to zero and then I'll come in here set that to true and program block and we run the setup and it should turn green Too much Yeah, there we go. Flashing red, All right? And now it's a steady green. Flashing red. Steady green. Now if I come in here to this light, and I set this to false. We run the setup. Flashing red. And now it turns off. And it turned green because you're technically changing the slider color. And I'm sure if you're aware, I, I left the colors green. So it's, well, green. It's just off. If I were to come in here and recorrect that and set that back to red. target something flashing red take it away it's off next up is timer blocks the script can trigger a timer block on various different states and over here I got my rotor turret but I got it on a piston right so this will be like a retractable gun so let me grab a uh, timer block here put that down Take this timer block and make it part of the group. We compile or set up. Back in the timer block and custom data, you get all this. So, on trigger state, which trigger state? You got idle, firing, targeting, not idle, not firing, and not targeting. So, I want this trigger, this timer block, to trigger whenever it's targeting something. I'm going to change this targeting and then you can have it re-trigger over and over and over and over and over again I don't want that and you'll see why in a second so I'm going to set this to false and then under, under actions I'm going to find my piston and I'm going to hit extend so what's going to happen is whenever the script and that detonator locks onto a target it's going to trigger this timer block. And I set this timer block to extend that piston. Right? That's all it does, it just extends the piston. It doesn't retract it. And that's because it is set to targeting. Now let's put another one in. Now this one I want it when it's idle, right? So, idle, pre-trigger, false, actions, so whenever it is idle, I want it to retract my gun. Oh, well, see, it idle, triggered a piston, triggered a timer block, and my piston came back down. Up we go. Down we go. So what can you do with this? Well, use your imagination. Anything pretty much you can trigger with a timer block. You can uh, have it shoot guns. Because it's important to note that this script does not work, work with weapon core mod. So with Weapon Core, if you wanted to shoot the guns, you would have to basically... Uh, do I have one? Yeah, I have one. Uh, 
This is a weapon core. You would have to come in here. In order for this to shoot with the script, you would need to shoot on. Right? So you can have this say start shooting, for example. Uh, da -da -da. I can't access it. So timer block number one, set up actions, shoot on. Timer block two, set up actions, shoot off. Right? There you have it. So ladies and gentlemen, this is some advanced features of Whiplash's AI target slaving script. You can use it for multi-crew purposes, using a designator. You can use it for a targeting light, so you know if you're locked on or not. You can use it for timer blocks, retractable guns or shooting or even shields. If you're using a shield mod, if somebody comes in range of your turrets, it automatically throws your shields up. It can use it to set up some kind of alarm system, or if, I don't know, uh, deploy a drone, if you want something like that, start a timer block, deploy some kind of drone, uh, launch decoys, uh, whatever you can imagine. Just using timer blocks and do it. This is Fireman Dan. If you enjoyed this video, please like hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And I will see you guys next time on Space Engineers.